Hey guys, it's Nessa3 showing you another Lego Hero Factory mock review. This time we are doing Surge 11 or 1.0, I mean, or 1.1. Now in my storyline, Surge before and after, before he turned into Hero Factory Surge 2 slash 0 and after he turned into I mean, was or built into or created by Hero Factory, Surge 1 dot or 1 slash 0, whatever you call it. And you see, Stormer, Ferno, and Surge were um, on this mission. They were trying to destroy Explode for the last time. Of course, they did not succeed because. You know, Trial of Blind Inferno, Chapter 2 in the movie, the Cartoon Network thingy. I got it for my birthday. Um, movie thingy, episode, yeah, whatever. Um, Explode um, was, you know, like, died in the last chapter when Von Nebula was, um, big, um, Black Orb staff was... Um, took, taken captive by the Hero Factory. Yeah. And you see, Surge, Stormer, Inferno, one of the three best, um, Hero Factory, were trying to tackle Explo for the f last time. And they thought this was going to be the showdown because they had a perfect plan. You see, they were going to corner Explode with only Surge and Inferno. And you see, Explode doesn't know that Inferno's the new leader of the team. So, you know, he can't do anything because he thinks Inferno and Surge are just a piece of cake to destroy or escape from. But they're wrong. Stormer came in. You see, Surge and Inferno were pretending to corner him. And then explode, almost escape, but then, right when he almost went through his little jetpack, um, rocket, jet, explode, thingy, um, he almost escaped, but then Stormer, um, actually, from a cliff, very hidden, jumped on it, and then hit the engine on it, so he crashed down, and then, you see, explode made a very unexpected move, and you see, he actually shot Ferno, Surge, and Storm. But first, he shot Ferno. Because he accidentally crashed into Ferno. He almost did it on purpose. He was trying to. Yeah, and that's how he crashed into Ferno. And then he he got, you know, like, knocked out. And then Explode shot him with his, with his fire lava meteor blaster. And then, you know, Surge attacked him because he was really mad. You know, like, no. Like in Star Wars, um, you know, the trilogy, he just jumped on him, and then he almost cut off his um, his big spike um sword thingy, spear thingy, but then he had, he hit him with it when he was about to destroy it with his sonic blade thingies, and then Stormwall was mad because he got hit, and then it just repeated. It. And then, Explode escaped. And they did not succeed, this, the three hero factories. And then, since they were actually, their hero core was damaged very, very badly, they had to create a new surge. But they still just had to repair the armor pieces very badly damaged. That's how they turned into these upgraded versions. I also made a review on Ferno and Stormer 11. I'm just going to take a quick look. First off, he has this very awesome upgraded Sonic Trident. Then he has a very rare Meteor Blaster, which he stole from, what's his name? The guy, Meltdown. Yeah, he just turned it into a Sonic Blaster instead. And yeah, they got upgraded armor and stuff. And he's pretty much the same, except for the weapons. And... These weapons can actually split, and this gun, this um, blaster thingy can go on his back. I'll show you just a minute. Just need to take it off. Okay. Just take it off, and then voila. It's very easy. Just stick it on. See? 
And now we can use it to make two twin double bladed Sonic sword melee, melee, whatever you call it, weapons. See? So, he really liked his new ar um, weapons and hero core and armor. Gave His hero core was a little bit different. The only, he had the same personality, only he was a little bit braver because they thought Surge was a little bit, you know, like, weird. He almost sounds like Takua. He acts like Takua and Barracks in the movies. He's just like Barracks. I love Barracks. He's one of my favorite characters in the Bonneville series. Oh, whatever. Yeah, and that's what he looks like. Oopsie, yeah. He, yeah, he's mainly just the same. And that's all for this review. See my Evo 12 review, Ferno 11 review, and Stormer 11 review. Until then, this has been Nest of Three, a.k.a. Leo Anuva, a.k.a. Ben Keckley, signing out. Bye.